Fox News cameras capturing this video showing Border Patrol agents opening a previously locked gate at the border. It was locked by the Texas National Guard. This allows illegal migrants to cross into the United States and ultimately travel deeper into the United States. This as proof that the crisis is getting worse, Customs and Border Protection saying migrant encounters have already exceeded 2 million this fiscal year alone, another all-time record, and that fiscal year isn't even over. We've got more than a month left in it. Joining me now, New York Congressman John Katko. He's a ranking member of the House Homeland Security Committee. And, Congressman, there are about a million gotaways in the last two fiscal years, roughly. These are people who were just in the United States undetected. What's going to stop this? Well, Dagan, it, it really is a crisis that keeps on going, and I really appreciate you keeping the the word alive a bit because it seems to be people are kind of starting to forget about it and they really can't. The only way to really stop this is to stop is to change the administration's policies and uh, I don't see them doing that. Uh, I do see us in January forcing them uh, through our legislative agenda, especially we take over the House and Senate. And uh, I'm in charge of that effort and on day one we're going to have things ready to roll. I can guarantee you that. And, and you see it here in New York, and it's and. You've got mm -hmm. Mayor Eric Adams fussing about and to Governor Abbott for sending a few hundred migrants here to New York. But again, until these liberal leaders who back this open border policy have to face dealing with these illegal migrants and face the kind of financial hardship that state border states and border communities experience every day, then they won't do anything about it. Will, will some of these liberals yeah. eventually stand up and say, we need to close the border? Or at the very least, stop saying, the border's not open. Yeah, well, it's what the mayors of Washington, D.C. and New York City are engaging in is a height of hypocrisy. Those are two cities that are leading the, the uh, the, uh, the sanctuary city movement and the sanctuary city movement the essence is we will take in illegal aliens we will protect illegal aliens and we will not deport illegal aliens unless of course you send us illegal aliens like they're doing from the texas border and now we don't want them that is ridiculous it's it, it just shows you they have no clue what's going on and you pointed out right they're getting a small taste of what's happening in these border communities. These border communities are absolutely positively overwhelmed with crime, with uh, financial constraints. Mm -hmm. They've had to cut budgets just to deal with the dead bodies they find in the brush all the time, these poor people coming across. And, it, and the Bush, I mean, the Biden administration has created kind of a beacon telling them to come. They're coming across and they're dying in record numbers across the border. And, and it's just a mess. And so we really do have to change this on day one. And unless and until people understand the depths of this problem, like the 108,000 people who died of uh, drug overdoses last year, and the 14 drug overdoses that happened in my city of Syracuse uh, two days ago from the opioid crisis, unless they figure that out, unless they understand the number of people on the terror watch list that are coming across the border, the ones that are being seized, uh, unless and until they figure that out, I doubt the liberal side of the, uh, of the equation is going to um, care. But sooner or later, it's going to hit a it's going to hit a breaking point. I dare say we're getting pretty close. Governor Abbott of Texas says he's bussed about 800 migrants to New York City since August 5th. Meantime, the New York Post is reporting city officials are looking for an extra 5,000 hotel rooms to house the migrants. Congressman, your reaction that these migrants are going to be living in hotels? Well, I would much rather take care of our own citizens first that are in need, and there's clearly a need in New York City and all these major large cities given the economic downturn. And it's not that I don't have empathy for these individuals coming across the border. Of course, anyone does with a soul. But we, have, we can't even take care of our own uh, uh, disadvantaged folks in this country. And meanwhile, we're, we're taking all these others on top of that, right? Meanwhile, crime's off the hook and budgets for crime and uh, crime fighting are being slashed. It's really uh, it, nonsensical to me. And uh, if we had a, if we had a, it enforced our border and had people come to this country the right way, like my ancestors mm -hmm. and your ancestors did, 
that makes a hell of a lot more sense to me. Before we go, I want to get your reaction to this. The former CIA director, Michael Hayden, who again, um, election interference in 2020, he's one of the people who signed onto that letter calling Hunter Biden's laptop Russian disinformation. He says he agrees with one journalist tweet saying, quote, we have never come across a political force more dangerous and nihilistic and contemptible than today's Republicans. You're more dangerous. Yeah, to you're me, more dangerous than uh, Al Qaeda, ISIS, or the Nazi Party, or the Nazi Party. That's outrageous and irresponsible rhetoric from any American, and coming from people that are senior members of the intelligence community, just goes to show you how out of whack we are in that area. And we got to we got to straighten it up because. That is irresponsible. He should, re he should re uh, refrain from making such irresponsible and stupid comments, to be honest with you. Yeah, particularly before, you know, and reprehensible and stupid comments before an election, uh, getting behind right. the censorship of reporting by the New York Post about Hunter Biden's laptop again. Yes. Congressman, thank yeah, you. You're absolutely right. And, and you're absolutely right. So thank you very much. Thank you so much.